gorgeous May morning here on the homestead. And uh, we have a few things that we're going to be accomplishing this weekend. When I say we, mostly me, because Chris is actually going on a late Mother's Day weekend with uh, her daughter Janelle. Uh, they wanted to go during Mother's Day weekend, but Chris didn't have anybody to watch the dogs because I was seeing my mom up in St. Louis. So uh, she and Janelle are going to go do some antique and other type of shopping along some of the rural routes here in Tennessee. I think over towards Eastern Tennessee, Cookville. In the meantime, we're gonna do some projects here around the homestead and I'm gonna show you what they are. First off, let's start with uh, something we had done yesterday. Look at that, there's a toad right there. I didn't even see him. Neither did Presley, thankfully. Saved your life. While we're doing most of the work around here, some things we want to uh, leave to the professionals. And yesterday we had Cook's Pest Control come out. The reason why was we had seen evidence of termite damage when we were um, dem demoing the inside of the house. Also, we saw it in some of the boards in the shop. We didn't know if they were active. We were kind of waiting to see. And uh, sure enough, about a week ago, on the, on the south side of the shop over there, we had um, termites hatching and flying away. So we called them and uh, got an estimate on them from them. We got an estimate from Cook's Pest Control to take care of the termites. And they also um, had a few other things they suggested and we went with those. We're having the pool, we're gonna get some mosquito control. We're gonna get some general pest control. Keep the pest down just around the house and the office. Um, make it more pleasant when we're outside. So we're gonna try that out. We'll let you know how that works um, after we get a couple of months into that servicing. Um, the other thing we got done from them, which I wasn't expecting them to do uh, or have this service, but it was perfect timing for it because I'm getting ready to crawl underneath the crawl space to take out all the duct work and start looking at running the gas lines that we'll need for the remodel as well as the water lines. And so uh, they got under there, underneath the crawl space there, and uh, put down a nice thick vapor barrier moisture barrier and so that will help us with uh, any humidity control that's needed under there and also will help when I'm getting under there to get all the duct work out so if we uh, take a look here we got rid of the air conditioner all that duct work's got to come out so I'll be crawling under there today to get that duct work out and so they uh, also as part of that service they installed some uh, automatic vents that open and close at a certain temperature um, that way we don't have to worry about remembering to open and close them and that will keep it dry and perfect down there so we don't have any mold issues it also helps with the termite control as well as all these bait stations that you can see down here that they put in so that's the work that's already been done my day today will consist of primarily being under the house getting the duct work out and we should have the pool people coming here to start on our pavers or our stonework around the pool, stonework and concrete around the pool. So this area right on the other side of me, right over here next to the pool, should be a lot nicer by the end of the weekend, hopefully, if they show up. And the plumber should be here to get the pool circulating to kind of clean it up because we had a well issue. Our well got it about a third way full and then our well started being a little uh, silty, sandy. And so we shut the well off because we didn't want to hurt the well. We actually had water pumped in or brought in, trucked in, and then they dumped it in there to fill the pool. But we're not getting any circulation, so we'd like to get that pool cleaned up, ready to swim in for the 80-degree weather that's coming next week. Just a few tools I'm taking in underneath so I don't have to crawl in and out. Uh, basically drill with uh, different attachments in case I uh, need to remove different screws that are holding the ductwork together. I think mostly they're hex head, but we've got some extra bits in this little box here just in case. A knife to cut any duct tape insulation around the uh, ducting, and then a pry bar in case I need it. Uh, one thing that I probably should have uh, is a head, one of those hand headlamps, but mine broke and I haven't replaced yet, so I'll just have to use my handy phone with a flashlight on it if I need any light once I get under there.
right, you can see we got the plastic laid down in here, which will make it a little bit cleaner than crawling around on dirt and rocks. So not too nasty to get in. They just did this yesterday, so um, it's a perfect time to get in here and take some of this duck work out. So we're just gonna crawl in here and uh, get it going. All right, simple as this. Just take the insulation back, we've cut it, peeled it back. Then we take the screws out of the ductwork and then just pull the ductwork out. This morning we're going to finish getting the rest of this ductwork out of here. I got it all disconnected yesterday. Uh, the guy that purchased the AC is coming back to pick that all up so we don't have to deal with it. He should be here in just a few minutes. We're going to get all of that out. Uh, I did find something yesterday that I've got to fix today. You see this vent right about here? That's the dryer vent. And... Uh, it was completely disconnected underneath and it also had a droop down in it and it was filled with water so that explains why our, our dryer was not uh, drying as well as we thought it should be so i've got some new dryer vent i'm going to replace that while we're in there just temporarily because we're actually going to be moving that washer and dryer over into the corner of this back room here and we'll probably put uh, vents on this side now after this uh after we get this hole out after we get this uh after we get all this duct work out, we're going to have that hole to deal with. It's a much better access point than our access point on the far side over there. So we'll probably close that one up on the far side over there, or at least put a better door on it, because right now it's just got a board. And then we'll put a nice door on here as well. So it's pretty nice for a place to crawl in once we get all that duct work out. There's a lot of space in there. It could also be a, a storm shelter for us as well. Um, and also a place potentially to put the on-demand hot water heater underneath rather than taking room up on the wall in the utility. So we're gonna check out all of those options. But today is just getting all that duct work out of here. Pretty much done. We can uh, get back on the fun project of starting to remodel the house. So as I said earlier, we got the uh, duct work out from underneath today. And so that's nice. We get a nice uh, crawl space down there, plastics installed got some new vents installed over there got all the duct work out and now we can start figuring out how to get the gas lines and water lines to the appliances and where they need to go but before that we've got some things to do inside with um, framing we're gonna be moving some windows putting in doors in new places on the outside walls and we've got some water damage to repair on this back wall here so we're gonna get started today with the removal of one window so let's go take a look at that.